Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be building out a live search inside of Webflow. So what that's gonna do is update the results as you're typing. Regular Webflow search functionality doesn't have this built in. So the way we're gonna achieve this functionality is by using a really cool third-party plugin called JetBoost. The JetBoost tool can do a lot of cool things like filtering, CMS favoriting, and the one we're doing here today, which is real-time on-page search. So once you log in, you have to integrate your Webflow with JetBoost. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Project I'll be selecting is this search demo JetBoost. Then there's going to be a message that says success time to get boosted. So now we have to follow these instructions and implement it into our demo website here. And this is just going to be a demo website with a few blog posts. And we're going to filter these blog posts based on what's type typed in. So if we type in 10, it would show this right here because it has the number 10 in here. So let's go ahead and actually do this. Step one is which collection on your site do you want to search? We're going to select blog post. Which fields on your collection should you filter by? Let's do the name. And if we want to add multiple things we can search, we can also search for something like the post summary or even the post body. Whatever fields you have created in the CMS, you can make those searchable with the text. So we're just going to do the name for now, which is going to be our top title over here. And then it's gonna ask, how should the search look for matching items? So we can make it exact match or flexible. Let's go ahead and do flexible. So what that's gonna do is right here, it's gonna show exact is, is it has to be typed in exactly like that. But if you type in like 10 design tools, it might show something like 10 design tools and then 10 web design tools. Two similar searches, but one's more flexible. So now the next step is to go to your site's custom code settings and we have to paste this script in. So what we do is we click copy here and then we head over to our project settings. Then we go ahead and click on custom code. We're just going to paste this snippet of code and click save. And then once it's published, all we need to do is click on the next step. So we published it. Let's go back. It's going to say, yep, publish it and then test and continue. And there we go. It detected it and gave us a check mark. Okay, now the third step. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and we have to paste this into our main collection item as a class. So let's go back to our designer view over here. And then what we need to do is select the collection list, the, the very top parent element, and then just paste the class there. And it's gonna show JetBoost list wrapper. And then that R8WR is unique to my account. You're gonna have a different one if you are following along. Now we can move on to the next step, which is including an embed inside of our collection list. So the way this works is you just click copy, and then you go ahead and go into your collection list. You have to go a little bit deeper than the last step. The last step, we added this to the parent element. Now you need to go into the item itself and you need to add the embed block. So go ahead and click the plus symbol and scroll down to embed. And now we have an embed code here and then we paste it, that little snippet of code we got and then save. And then we also want to move it to the top. So it's the first item inside of the collection item. So in order to test it, you need to enter the exact URL of the page where you want this uh, live search functionality to work. So in my case, if I go back, you can see that the URL that I'm using is going to be services and the slug is going to be like this and it's going to detect the first part here so just enter the second part and before you actually do the test to make sure you hit the publish button and i'm going to go ahead and do that now now we're going to go ahead and click the test and continue button and you can see we got the green check mark so we're almost done with all of this so now the next step is to add some uh, custom classes to the search box so JetBoost can see the search box input and then also see the collection list and filter the data like that. So for this step, what we need to do is we need to uh, make sure that our search box is actually using the Webflow form. So this is the form block. If I click plus, I'll just show you what that is. Scroll all the way down to the form section here and then you click form block. So by default, the form block is going to come with all of these uh, fields and you can delete uh, all of them except the search bar and maybe a label if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it, delete, and then delete the button. And that's pretty much what I have up here. I styled it to be centered. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete the one I just created here. But that's how you do it if you are planning to do this on your site. So now what you do is you click on the search box itself and then you go back to JetBoost and copy this little code here. 
And then what you do is you paste it exactly on the text field, which is the search. We go ahead and click enter and that's it. Now we hit publish. And then once it's live, we can see that there's a test and continue button to check if this is working. So let's go ahead and do this and click test and continue. And boom, another green check mark. Now you can see it's saying final checks, no issues detected, please continue. So now we can actually test this to see if it's working. So let's go ahead and go to our live site now. We're gonna go back to our Webflow, go to the site here and I can search for something. So let's search for 10. You can see uh, it pulled up the blog post that shows 10 quick tips about blogging. If I delete it to show just the number one, now it's detecting this number one, 15. It's detecting the 14. And that's really cool that you have this sort of functionality. So maybe now I can write design and you can see anything design related, it's gonna show up there as well, which was pretty much all of the posts except one. Maybe I can say blog. Okay, there goes three posts. So you can see that this live search is way, 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 way better than Webflow's baked in search. Webflow's baked in search is super old school, no live features or anything like that. But it gets a lot better than this. You can see if we go down under finish, it says power ups. And these are the other things you can add to your uh, live search form. These are like little upgrades. So one of them is a reset button. So like here's a perfect screenshot example where it shows clear. Uh, if you have this, uh, it says here maker pad. If you click clear, it will delete that and then show all of the results again. There's also no results found. If there's nothing, you can create a custom message search highlighting where it highlights the text. And in order to do all of this, you just follow the instructions here. I'm not gonna go over them in this video, but they're all here if you do want something more custom and unique to your search experience. So these are gonna be some super cool power-ups that really enhance the Webflow searching experience. Now I did mention in the beginning of the video about the URL updating when you search. So if I search for the number 10, you can see in the URL up here, it says uh, our, U our address and then question mark search 10. If I say design, you can see question mark search design. If you want that, that's gonna be nice if you're like sharing a link with someone. If I open a new tab and then enter, you can see it's gonna show already the text pre-populated right when the page loads. So if you like that functionality where people can share, that's how you do it. If you don't want that functionality, that's on step one over here. And that's this setting right here, add search query to URL. So if you wanna start using this tool for free, go ahead and click my link down in the description below and you can go ahead and follow the steps I just did in this video with you. And if you wanna see more Webflow content like this in the future, be sure to click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one, peace.